estimate the survival function of a particular individual or a particular group of lives what is the probability of survival or on the other side what is the probability of death Prob because if i am able to understand what is the probability of death from there i can very well compute what is the probability of survival so we are talking about uh, a basic estimation whenever we talk about uh, the probabilities of survival and all our intention is on a basic estimation of what we call as the future lifetime of a person future lifetime of an individual life how do i estimate the future lifetime of a person and of course we all agree to that particular point it is a complete unknown quantity in the beginning at this moment I, if i want to know what is uh, uh, by how many years this particular person is going to be alive i have no clue on that so that is where we talk about the future lifetime being unknown we will try treating the future lifetime of a person as a random variable that is the starting point behind this entire exercise so for any person with that uh, with that as the starting point if i have to uh, look at for any person if i am interested in finding out the future lifetime the future lifetime we will denote it as a random variable now if i start with a newborn baby if i start with a newborn baby whose age is 0 years now how many years will this baby be alive so that is what i am representing as a random variable t t is a random variable which talks about the future lifetime of a newborn baby it could be anywhere between 0 and some maximum limiting age generally denoted by omega somewhere in between 0 and omega omega could be a very uh, high number probably uh, to the extent of 100 or 120 kind of years depending on the lifetime of the person maximum limiting age beyond 120 there's a very little chance that a person will be uh, alive so let's say that is the kind of omega we are defining so all we are saying is the future lifetime of a person is of a newborn baby is a random variable uh, taking values anywhere between 0 and omega if that is the case i define two more uh, important uh, functions here what is the the probability of death or what is the distribution function of t cumulative distribution function of t all we are denoting it as f of t the cumulative distribution function which is nothing but the probability of the t taking a value less than or uh, let me see, f of t probability of the lifetime less than or equal to t years which mean what is the probability that a newborn baby will be alive uh, uh, will be dead before t years so this is what we call as uh, the distribution function of t and on the other side the survival function means what is the probability that uh, a person uh, that a newborn baby will be alive for more than t years 
will be alive for at least t years which is nothing but which is 1 minus of the distribution function of t so here this is where we talk about uh, the f of t being the probability associated with the death within the t years for a newborn baby and uh, the s of t denoting uh, the, the survival function for a newborn baby beyond t years right so we always uh, uh, we always uh, use these two functions one the survival function to the cumulative distribution function of the future lifetime but generally in a large number of cases we may not be dealing with the newborn babies right generally we may not uh, deal with uh, the newborn babies we may be dealing with people who have completed or who have attained some x years and after x years so probably for a 20 year old person for a 20 year old person what is the future lifetime or for a 50 year old person what is the future lifetime so we are talking about for a x year old person means the person has already lived the person had already lived up to x years and for that person we are interested in finding out the future lifetime so that's where we change the notation for a newborn baby we have represented that the future lifetime is t but for a person who has already attained uh, age of x who has survived up to age of x and i am interested in finding out the future lifetime of the person i will represent uh, that as another random variable tx so probably uh, it means if i write it as t20 it is the probability it is uh, the random variable uh, regarding the future lifetime of a person who has attained 20 years of age or a 50 year old what is uh, the future lifetime uh, of that uh, 50 year old person that is what we are representing as t50 so tx is in general we are writing as future lifetime future lifetime of a person whose has already attained age of x or who has survived up to x years and uh, wherein that x is anywhere lesser than or equal to x uh, uh, lies between 0 and omega so in a way when i am talking about t0 it is nothing but future lifetime of a person whose uh, current age who has attained an age of 0 right now which is nothing but a newborn baby so just like the way we have defined f f of t where we have said probability that the lifetime is less than or equal to t the same logic if i am extending it to a person with age x we are simply saying it as the probability that the future lifetime variable for this person is less than or equal to t Similarly, I can uh, go with uh, the survival function also, which is 1 minus of uh, uh, f of t. I will write it as 1 minus of fx of t, which can go as 1 minus of probability that the future uh, lifetime for this x is less than or equal to t. Or probably it is as good as saying probability that tx is greater than t. So that is what is coming out as survival function for a person whose current age is x, right? So now, if at all I have to write those things in a slightly different form, let's say if I am talking about fx of t, what is that we are saying? The person has already survived x years and we are trying to find out what is the probability that he, is, he will die within the next t years means the other way of saying is what is the probability that uh, his tx will be less than or equal to t given 
he has already survived for x years right so the other way of writing it is the probability of the the total lifetime less than x plus t less than or equal to x plus t given that he has already survived for x years so the other way to write this if i am looking at uh, probability of a given b probability of a intersection b divided by probability of b that if i am applying the same kind of a principle here probability of a intersection b which is nothing but f of x plus t minus f of x and divided by probability of t greater than x which is nothing but the survival function s of x so you could very well write fx of t which is uh, the future lifetime the probability or uh, the probability that a particular uh, person whose age is currently x who will die within the next t years will die within the next t years is what can be given as fx of t and which would work out to f of x plus t minus f of x divided by the survival function up to x now this is where the actuarial notations are coming